Hey loves, it's your girl Nene coming at you today. Um, I know it's late, but I figured with the weekend coming up, um, I might as well do one of the requests in my inbox. And one of the requests that I had was a brown smoky eye, something that had a little bit of fun to it, but wasn't too overwhelming so that you could wear it to school or maybe to work or, you know, maybe lunch out with the girls or your boyfriend or something like that. Something that you can easily take into the nighttime. So, this is the look that I'm going to be doing for you guys today. As you can see, it has a little bit of smokiness to it, but nothing too overwhelming at all. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start the lid. Now, because it's nighttime and, of course, I'm not going to go anywhere, um, I'm not going to be doing um, a like primer potion or anything on my eyelid because I'm going to wash this all off but just go ahead and use your whatever you use your eyeshadow primer um, whether you use Smashbox or Shadow Insurance I prefer Shadow Insurance but let's go ahead and do that and just put it all over the lid and as soon as you're done doing that go ahead and take your paint pot and this is in groundwork and you can use your fingers, but I'm just going to use this brush. You can just use like a concealer brush if you want to use a brush. And just apply groundwork all over the lid. Make sure it's really smooth and even. Okay. Oh, and by the way, this is a really quick look too. Perfect for like when you're running out the door. Okay, got that all over the lid. Now what you're gonna do is, you're gonna go ahead and do your highlight. And I'm going to take my MAC 214 and I'm using my, now I got this off of eBay. It doesn't have a name to it, but it's a neutral it's like a neutral palette. It's the neutral 88 palette. I believe it's still by Manly, but it doesn't say Manly on the front. But it's a neutral palette, I think, with 88 colors in it. And I'm just going to be taking like a soft, kind of coppery brown color. This one right here. And go ahead and do my highlight. Right now, my eyebrows are threaded. They're not filled in with anything. So, I, um, I actually took the time and let them grow out and, um, and threaded them. Now, they've been done for about two weeks. And I mean, they're not that bad, but you can tell they're not in tip top shape. But like I said, I'm not going anywhere so I'm not gonna bother with filling them in or shaping them or anything like that but yeah so you you have your highlight on and you can see I'm trying to make sure it's even but the other eye I can't see without my glasses is horrible okay highlight on now for the same palette I'm gonna go in and I'm going to take a soft muted shimmery brown. This is one, two, three, four. This color right here. And get that on my brush and I'm just gonna apply it to my lower lid. Just like this. Just pack on the color. All over the lower lid, do not pass the crease. Okay guys? Just pack on that color as much as you can. I mean, of course, you you um you pack it on as heavy or as light if you want to. But I really want to get this color on just because I said you know it's a it's a soft muted brown, so I really want the color effect of this. Just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. 
Concentration or lead. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, going in with my MAC 222. I'm going to take like a brownish burgundy color. If you have the same palette as me, I'm going to be using this color right here. This brownish kind of burgundy. And I'm just going to define my crease with this now the reason that I'm using this color is because this is not going to be my actual crease color but just for blending purposes and to give depth and dimension to the eye I want to kind of use something that's going to basically give my eye a shape and like I said it'll help the colors blend in a whole lot easier because usually if I'm doing a smoky eye with black, then I'll use brown for this, like a soft, like medium brown. But because this is a brown kind of smoky eye, then of course I'm not going to use brown for this. So you really just want to define your crease. I'm just going to get a little bit more of that color. And just, I really want this to be defined. Try not to go into the lid. I mean, if you do, it's okay. You can always go back in and apply that lid color. But you really just want to try to stick within the groove of your eye and just define. As you can see, I'm blending in soft, smooth circles. So. I'm taking this color all the way across my lid. Okay. Now, I'm sorry, I had something pop up. Okay, now that I have that, is what we have so far. I'm going to go in and I'm going to take that same 222 and I'm going to take like a dark, ooh, look, cross out it. I can't see. <laughs> I'm going to take like a dark, uh, a really dark teal kind of black, but it's really like a dark, like I said, like a dark teal green kind of color because I don't want to use black. And I'm going to make like a V shape. Let me see. I'm going to, you know how you kind of like wing out your eyeliner? Do it like that and then go up and then just fill in that little area right there as you can see we got like a really nice V kind of going on right there and then we're just going to go back in and fill in that V And now that we have it filled in, we're just gonna go ahead and blend it out. Now, I'm not gonna bring this color all the way across the lid. I want this to stay in the corner because this is a daytime look. So I don't want it to be too dramatic. So I'm just blending in really little circles. I'm staying in that outer area. I'm not going to bring this all the way over. No. And just blend, 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 blend. Add more if you need to. Always start out with a little bit because it's always easier to build color rather than just have too much. And, you know, you, you got you to gotta work with it now because you have it up there. Make sure you really 
I'm sorry. <laughs> My, I'm using the mirror on this thing, and it's like all the way down here. But yeah, just really blend it out in that corner. Okay, just keep blending out. Like I said, just build as much. Sorry, I gotta look. <laughs> just build as much as you as you need or as you want. And it's okay if it's if it's not exactly um the neatest right now, because we're gonna go back and clean it up later on. So. Oh no, it's 11 minutes already. Okay, just blend, blend, blend. Okay. Now that that's all blended. Okay. You just want to go in with a, with a slanted eyeliner brush. With that same color. And just line your upper eyelid. Now you can wing it out if you want to, or you can just keep it straight. However you usually do your eyeliner, just do it like that. But remember, this is meant to be a soft, sexy, smoky look. So your eyeliner doesn't have to be perfect. That's why I preferred to use um, a shadow, so it just wouldn't be too perfect. Okay, and now that I have that done, I'm going to go in with my mascara, and the mascara that I'm living right now is the Maybelline's Fall Seas Mascara Flared, and of course the brush has um, this type of curve in it. Like I said, I'm not going anywhere, so I'm just, usually I take my time and really just apply my mascara, but I'm just going to do it like this for you guys. quick and simple okay and like I said right now my eyebrows are threaded and for my eyebrows are like within the two week range of being threaded I really don't feel the need to fill them in because like I said I let them grow out so I'm just gonna brush my brow. But especially because it's a daytime look. You don't wanna have too harsh of a brow. But yes, um, this is the finished look. Um, I hope you guys really liked it. Um, right now on my foundation, I'm using the the Revlon um color stay foundation in cappuccino. And what I did was I cleansed my face I moisturized it and I used the makeup forever fix and perfect makeup spray I sprayed like three sprays on my face just to get it you know ready for blending the foundation out and I took my Mac 129 and I just dabbed the foundation on I like that I didn't put any kind of powder or anything on top just like I said I'm just doing this tutorial for you guys I'm gonna wash all this off anyway but um as far as blush goes if you're using MAC, you could do Amber and Rose. If you're going to use NYX, then I would do like Champagne, I think it's called. And as a highlight, if you want to do something a little extra, I prefer if you're going to use Amber and Rose, then use Champagne as a highlight. Or my favorite is Orgasm by MAC. Um, if you want to do a contour, you know, do like a little deeper blush color or a deeper foundation color. Lips, you can do like a soft mauve. Y'all know how I feel about nudes with everything. I don't I don't want people to get stuck thinking that they have to use nudes, you know. But, of course, a nude would be pretty. But it could be like soft mauves, champagnes, honeys, anything within the 